What's going on YouTube, how's it going and welcome back to the channel, it is your boy Cedric and if you are interested in joining the Shady Gang and the DMC community then head on over to the description, check out the Discord servers and whilst you're down there leave a like on the video and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Let's get straight into today's video. So we're switching it up a little bit today guys, we've got our usual Boreas and Hex deck because you know how we love it so, but we are switching it up for a bit of Boreas action, see if it can take us into them later rounds, getting a little bit of extra damage, extra speed boost on the board, see if it's going to be a little bit better to take us further. I hope it is. Let me know how you're all doing today though. I'm doing absolutely fine. I am absolutely loving it. The sun is shining. We've got a couple of blade dancers connected. So that's not what I like to see. But we'll get some things moved around and merged up and see what we can do as soon as we can guys. But that's not too bad there. Finding another couple of blade dancers. Let's get them two merged up. I mean, let's just get them two merged up. And we do find another couple of blade dancers out of that. How could have that been so? <laughs> But anyway guys, we're going to keep on merging, keep on getting things away. Obviously we need to get rid of a two merge two blade dancers now, which is a little bit unfortunate for us, but... Oh well, you win some, you lose some, we'll keep on going, keep trying to get that skill action and keep trying to get things set up. So my main aim of this deck guys is basically to get one side set up with blade dancers, trying to get all that high damage output, and get another side set up with all of my insta-kill output to get me through them waves. We'll have to see how it goes guys, see how things get set up and looking absolutely lovely. And I am going to have to get rid of them blade dancers at some point because they are not got any sort of damage output at the minute for us because they are connected and they have got no boost at all. But as you can see we've got a couple of hexes around them ivies now so we're not looking too bad. A couple of hexes around the ivies, no we don't. We have a couple of boreas around the hexes. We've got, we have the one ivy up in that top left hand corner as you can see at the right moment in time. And there we do go ahead and drop another hex up there as well. So I'm probably going to keep that blade dancer in the centre now, try and keep that hex, try and level up a few things around it and see what we can do, because we're going to go ahead now and do that and do that, and if we get a merge 3 blade dancer out of that, then that would have messed up my plans completely, but we didn't, we got a merge 3 Boreas, that was very nice for us, and now we dropped another Ivy on that top right hand corner as well, just about 30 seconds to Warlocks coming out, so we should be able to take him out pretty instantly without anything coming off on us, and let's just see what we can keep on going with it, we've got another Ivy down there, so let's just concentrate on getting a couple of levels on that hex there, we can actually get our blade dancer up here to merge 3 as well, so that's not looking too bad for us, that's not looking very bad at all and we can actually go and concentrate that one up there to merge two so we've got a few things decent around that hex now as well so we've got a little bit of insta kill capability keeping things back looking very nice we can get a couple of levels on our boreas and our blade dancer going into warlock so that's very nice for us and we can even get a level on our ivy going into that next round as well we could actually get a couple of them ivies merged up see if we can get a nice little oof nice little blade dancer out of it if we could try and do so that would be very nice but for now we'll just keep on going we've got bedlam coming up next and i just realized we've got the disgust of corsair corsair where did corsair come from and then cult is coming up so we should be able to hold on hopefully he's looking for that level one but it doesn't he goes ahead and get that level two portal keeper so we just dismissed that one up for him so that's not too bad we're going to get another one up here so that does give us the merge two which isn't terrible guys we can get a straight foot on that boreas there if need be and we can try and find something else in that corner fingers crossed another blade dancer would be very nice for us and that's not too bad we can get them two merged up down there so that gives us another merge 2 boreas on our hex there as well let's get another level on that hex there as well so we can get a few more insta kill capabilities get a little level on our hex as well so we're not looking bad guys as soon as we have that 260 mana we'll get something up in that top left hand corner no we won't get something in that bottom right hand corner but let's just see once we're back at that 270 we'll be getting something up here in the left hand corner and let's just concentrate a few more levels on our boreas around this hex down here now as well guys let's get a couple of levels on things we can keep things back just as nice as we wish to and as soon as we're up at that 600 mana we will get a level on our boreas blade dancer and our hex and there we go there we have it very nice there we're all up a level three now so we just we need to get a little bit more damage on the board a couple more blade dancers will be nice let's just concentrate that right oh my goodness i knew that was gonna happen ah oh, i knew it i knew this would happen let's just see if we can find another blade dancer to try and get rid of that one guys that was not like, what we wanted to see and we do find that one there so let's just get them merged up i don't care that we got rid of them too unfortunately we did get rid of them too but i'm not too bothered guys we managed to keep ourselves the blade dancers connected looking very nice and we managed to get that one up to a merge three as well so that's not terrible for us guys and we are looking at getting a couple of these merged up now if we can try and find something else we find another dryer we can get them to merge up and get rid of them and we do so exactly now so let's just do that into that corner so we can try and find something on that hex into that corner please and there we go finding another merge three blade dancer there so that's very nice for us and we can go ahead and get a level on our blade dancer there and hopefully get another level on our uh Boreas before he comes out, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to here. No, not quite. We could get a level on our Ivy, but I think we're just going to wait. We're going to drop our ability just so we definitely take him out. And we're going to de-take him out before my ability even hits the ground. There we go. That was very nice. Tamer coming up next, so let's just see what we can do, guys. We're looking very good going to this next round. Hopefully, we're going to start overrunning this disgusting cultist deck very shortly. And as you can see, I haven't got any Ivies on 
hexes at the minute, which is a bit unfortunate. I'd like to see if we could get a couple of IVs on hexes. But there we go, dropping another Blade Dancer in that corner. So that's not terrible for us, guys. We're going to get a couple of our IVs merged up, but not yet. Yeah, we're not. We're going to get another Boreas there. That's another IV up there, so that's not too bad. I do want to get them ones merged up, but I don't want it to be a Blade Dancer. So I'm not going to do that just as of yet. But we're keeping things back very nicely, guys. I'm just going to concentrate again a few more levels on things. So we can be keeping things back very nicely there. And as you can see, getting our IV all the way up is keeping things back a little bit better. And we're going to get another level on our hex as soon as we the 400 mana. So we'll be keeping things back but even better then guys even better and we've still got two levels to go we've got one on our Boreas so and one on our Blade Dancer to go yet so we're just looking as nice as he is at the minute hopefully we'll be able to overrun him in this next round Tamer coming out shouldn't be too much to deal with and there we go getting another level on our Blade Dancer and Suzu up to that 700 mana we will get another level on our Boreas as well so we'll be looking very very nice guys we have got our ability just about to kick in as well so if we do need to use that on Tamer we will do but I don't we will even need to use it on Tamer as you can see our wave is being kept back very nicely with all our insta kill capability as you can see, his way is being kept back very nicely as well. We do get, need to get another level on our Hex there, and we can be keeping things back just as nice. But we do need to be leveling up our IVs a little bit, but I don't really want to be doing it up onto that Hex just yet, because it will be getting rid of... Well, it might merge up into a merge to IV, but you just never know, guys. If it gives a Blade Dancer, even it wouldn't be too bad. But let's just see how we're going to be dealing with Tamer now, guys. We should be taking him out pretty quickly now. We do. Not quite as quick as what he is at the minute, guys. So let's just keep trying. There's another Hex. That's a little bit unfortunate. Let's get these two merged up here. That's Ivy. So that's not terrible for us, guys. Let's just keep on going. Keep on going. That's not terrible. So we could get that merged up. Yeah, let's get it merged up into the corner. That's a Dryad. So that's not bad either. We do. We are going to go ahead and get that straight on this Hex here in the middle. So we've got a little bit more skill capability. There's another Ivy as well. So that's not terrible. Let's get that merged up into this corner. See what we can get. That's another merged to Dryad. Getting the Boreas down there. Let's just get a level on our Boreas down here. So that's a little bit more skill capability for us. We might have to drop our ability in a moment but we should be taking this guy out pretty quickly guys and there we go we're keeping things back very nicely as soon as we do take him out so let's just see what we can get that's another hex which is a little bit unfortunate that's not really what we're looking for at the minute merging down here for a merge two hex which isn't exactly great but there we go managing to find a merge three ivy up there could be the clutch could be things to keep it back for us as soon as we do get our ability in play well as soon as we get the vortex to the front we're going to be dropping our abilities we can try and keep things back a little bit better tamer coming up in five seconds once again so we shouldn't have to worry about him hopefully we can take him out pretty quickly. And as you can see, all our in-skill capability is looking very good there, guys. We're keeping things back very nicely. I haven't got too much. I really particularly want to be merging off at the minute either. So I'm going to be keeping it as it is. 2.3 million health to go through on Tamer. We're going through it fairly quickly. As you see, don't get me wrong, he's going through his fairly quickly as well. 1.1, we do get the in skill off on that one there. And he stops for a moment there, so we are going to be taking him out very quickly there. So that's not too bad, guys. We're keeping things back. We're doing very well. This is a very, very good game cultist v cultist tribunal coming up next so that's a little bit scary for us but hopefully he's going to start getting a little bit overrun in this round guys and all of our skill capability is going to be keeping things back very nicely for us as you can see things are barely coming out that round out that round out that portal and his things are coming out very nicely guys and as you can see we're taking things out very quickly hopefully we don't get overrun by this vortex we managed to take him out pretty quickly 500k i think that was something about that yeah, there we go. We managed to take our Vortex out there. So as you can see, we're keeping things back very nicely, guys. Things are coming around on his side. Not too quickly, but he's struggling a little bit with them bosses now. But as you can see, we're struggling a little bit as well. We managed to keep things back there as well. Once our skill ability does kick in, guys, we're keeping things back very nicely. We need to be taking this Vortex out. I need to be using my ability just as things reach that corner. And we do manage to keep a little bit back there. He's using the Trickster ability, so there's nothing to be able to stop that Horde coming through his gate. 17 seconds. He's not going to be holding on, guys. And he does cry with the crying emoji. Unlucky, mate. That was a very good game, guys. But the the insta-kill capability from the Hex and the power from the Blade Dancer managed to drag us through it there. We managed to get the very, very nice win against that Cultist deck there, guys. That was beautiful. Leave a like on the video for that one. And if you can, subscribe to the channel, guys. It is a massive, massive help and I appreciate it so much. But let's just jump into another one. We've got Bruiser Shaman coming up this time, so that's not exactly what we like to see. But, oh, of course it goes to my Blade Dancer straight off the bat, guys. <laughs> Tears. Sending that sharpshooter. Sharpshooter sending that shaman over straight away. But let's just see what we can do here, guys. Let's just see if we can take this guy out. Bruiser Shaman is a very, very scary deck if they manage to play it well. And obviously the grease off the shaman is disgusting, guys. If I've got nothing I can merge off or get rid of, that would be very, very scary. But let's just keep on going. Keep on dropping. He's running clock in there, so he's slowing us down that little bit as well. But let's just keep on seeing what we can do. See if we can get this board set up very nicely. 
And there's a Blade Dancer on our attack tile as well, so that's looking very good for us. Hopefully he doesn't send it over and hit us straight away again. But there's a Dryad there, he goes. so if he does go to hit my Blade Dancer, I'll level him up to level 2. So we just going to lose the Merge on him, rather than losing the whole Blade Dancer. But let's just see what we're doing at the minute. We've got a couple of nice expositions, we've got a couple of nice Blade Dancer positions, we've got a couple of nice everything at the minute, guys. We're looking very, very good. So let's just keep on going, keep getting things on our board, keep getting set up. A couple more Dryads there, so if he does decide to send one over, I think I'll just chuck it on whatever he decides to hit, so it doesn't get rid of it. Well, that's not too bad. Obviously, it is a bit of a waste of a dryer, but at the same time, we don't lose a unit. So, you've got to weigh up the pros and cons, guys. You've got to weigh up the pros and cons. And we're going to be filling our last tile as soon as we're at that 160 mark. And then we'll start getting a few things merged off and getting a few things leveled up, guys. And we're not looking too bad. There we go. We're getting a Boras up there. So, we get that merged up for a merge 2 YB. And I think we're going to try and merge up here for a merge 1 Hex. No, we don't get that, unfortunately. But we do get the merge 2 Blade Dancer. So, as soon as we find another Blade Dancer, guys, we will get rid of that one. And I thought he was rage quitting then. Oh my goodness, what's he doing? What's he doing? We managed to do that one there and that one there. So we only lost a couple of bits there and we're going to be putting that one on there. So we do get that Blade Dancer switch back on. We get a Merge 2 Ivy around it as well. So we're not looking too bad, guys. We're looking very nice. We've got a Merge 2 Ivy on that Hex as well. So things are looking rather good for us at the minute. We get a Hex down there, which isn't exactly good for us. But as soon as we get something else, we will be able to merge it off. So we're looking good, guys. We're not looking too bad. Gorgon coming up first in about 15 seconds isn't anything to be worried about. Getting that merged up there for another Merge 2 Ivy. And he keeps on putting his clocks out, guys. He keeps on lowering our speed. But I'm not too fussed just yet. You can get the hit off on that for now, guys. Because we will be getting the merge off on that. Let's do that now. Oh, no. Why did I go ahead and do that? Tut, 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 Cedric. Tut, tut, tut. We should be taking out Gorgon. No problem at all. Like, I'm not really bothered about him. He does take out one of my Blade Dancers and Boreas with that stone. But that was very, very, very unfortunate. Let's just... All right. That's that's kind of annoying. I don't want to get rid of that Blade Dancer. Yeah, it's getting straight up to merge two once again. And as you can see, the Shaman spam is very annoying, guys. I've got a half an empty board here, guys. We've got two Blade Dancers connected. Obviously, we do have a little bit of an skill capability. We will... Might as well get a couple of levels on our Boreas and Hexwolves there as well. We might even get a level on our Ivy whilst we're here as well. And as you can see, him slowing us down is a little bit of a pain in the butt. But we're keeping things back nicely as well, guys. Our skill kid really is being kicked into place and he's dropping another Bruiser there as well. So let's just hope we can drop another Blade Dancer somewhere and hopefully we can get a level on him and get him merged over. So we do get them Blade Dancers switched back on as soon as possible. Not looking that way just as of yet, though. We get another couple of Ivies merged up there for another merge to Ivy, though. So we can't manage that. Let's just get a level on that so we don't lose it completely. And there's another Boreas as well, so that's not too bad for us, guys. As you can see, we're keeping our way back not too bad. There's another Dryad, so if we do drop that Blade Dancer, we will be able to level it up and get rid of it straight away. But we're not dropping it at the minute, guys. We're really not finding that Dryad just as of yet. Come on. Where's the RNG? Give me the Dryad. Give me the Blade Dancer, I mean. Give me something. Uh, that's not too bad there. I'm going to let him get rid of that, because if I do manage to drop a Blade Dancer in its place, that would be very nice for us. But no, I don't. I drop another Boreas. That's not terrible, guys. We get that one merged up there, which is quite nice. Let's get merged up here for Mystery Hex as well. Mystery Boreas, I do apologise, but that's going to be a nice bit of skill capability coming out of him there. So we should be concentrating on getting a couple of couple of levels on things and he's been over merged he's been given a lot of things he doesn't really want he could copy all of his bruises over if he needs to he gets a lovely merge five bruiser there though guys he really really does that was very nice for him one thing makes it through two things and that is all of it through and done that's a very nice victory there against bruiser shaman it's always nice to get them easy wins against shaman guys Okay, I'm going to be leaving the video there after that match then, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the video. The Blade Dancer and the Boreas combination is absolutely unbeatable today. But if you have enjoyed, leave a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!